Hello, welcome to Anson Griffin's occasional series in MATLAB tutorials. Today we'll be looking at image processing of grayscale images. Just to start the code here, I published it. The image here is 500 by 500 and it's important to put the cast operator outside to make it due and date, otherwise it'll be double and nothing will work. These quotes here, which is really the, the whole point of it, come from Steve Eddins on his MATLAB blog site. So, an output pixel is taking the minimum of the input pixels in its neighborhood and for uh, the dilation it's the maximum. Okay. I've made a number of circles here. Just the horror of horrors for MATLAB. I've used it nested for next loops but I think that explains everything there. And I've just made a circle here and at the peak of it it's 50 and then it winds down towards zero. So if we just scroll down a little bit to see what I did. There's the original image. Uh, different sizes going down, different sizes going across. The only difference here is that th that's pure white and these here have very low um, heights. And this one down here, I don't know if it's visible on YouTube, is extremely small and doesn't have a high central peak. There is the, for the column 50, the column 250, that's the vert, the mind this thing here on the left because it doesn't look great here. So that's the 1D profile. That's the 1D profile coming down where the mouse is there. So that's the 1D profile. There. So I created my structuring elements as so of disk 15. And on this line here, I eroded it. Okay, so go underneath again. I, d I now have a number of plots coming up. So there is the eroded image. Now, why uh, have some of them gone all together? Because remember, the structuring element is a disk 15. So when we span that, the disk is actually bigger than some of the radius of the of some of the circles. So we take the minimum and the back count is zero, so it all goes towards zero. There may or may not be a few peaks out here that we just can't see, and there may or may not be here. So how do you know whether it's down to the left or not? Well, that's the vertical axis, so that's that's the peaks of it, or the 1D profile after I erode it. And there's the 1D profile of the horizontal. So there was some out there, except our eyes, the highest point there is about 65 and the other one's about 10 and there just isn't enough discrimination. So when we dilate this back, obviously these guys are going to get bigger. These guys are going to get bigger. But when we go up here for the 1D profile, there's nothing to get bigger here. So the two circles are well there. They're gone forever. There are two circles out there that are gone and as far as I remember that bright one is gone. And why is that bright one gone? Because the disk is bigger than the, the structuring element is, is bigger than the radius is bigger than the radius of the original circle. So there's the eroded one again at the vertical. There's the along the horizontal. Erode, uh, sorry, dilate the image. There we are. Just to have to dilate it there. And there we are, and that's where we get back. Now I have some horizontal and vertical displays coming up. So there's the vertical. We lost the last two. We lost these here. And then here's the horizontal coming up. And rem if you remember, there was a small one there. If you remember as well, uh, they were quite pointy, and now at the top of the peaks they've sort of flattened out. Okay, I hope that helps a little bit to your understanding of grayscale structuring elements. Okay, thanks very much. Thanks for listening.